Here we have a set of drive shafts for Jim Elder, um, ML Rogers excavation in Wyndham. Uh, it's a John Deere loader, and the backstory is it's a European machine that was rebadged as a John Deere, and uh, they had drive shaft problems with it, and it's been developing, I believe, for a while. Uh, the problems. So when it came to me, there's three things that I was very surprised about: is the way the drive line was arranged. We'll talk about that in a second. And there was 1310 series, and the the U joints were 1310 series, and this is a good sized machine, and I was pretty astounded that it was 1310. So, anyways, I boiled this down to the simplest way I could think about resolving this, and the conversion to metric to American to Spicer, basically, it looks easy, but it's not. You know, ah, oh, just put some flanges on it, and blah blah blah. So a little bit went into it. I mean, I've got like three pages of math here of just figuring out all the offsets and flanges and everything. So this is the original front section. It is still 1310 at this end. That's that eight bolt flange uh, that was on it. And it, you can't divert from the eight bolt flanges because the stud sticking out is very specific on these ZF axles. And the way the drive line is arranged, it's a hydraulically driven axle back here so this is all running backwards in our world with a flange on it and the hydraulic power units up here that drives the rear axle the normally place where the drive shaft would be feeding power into the rear end is actually pushing transmitting power out up this shaft it hits the center bearing hanging underneath the loader um, and this is where it steers where the CV is and this goes to the front axle and there's two big huge disc brakes here um, like I said, it's very specific and it's very tight too. There's not room for big, huge components. Um, so this front section, or the I'm sorry, the rear section, basically is all Ford. Uh, these flanges, we'll talk about the flanges. So this is the 1350 series forged uh, PTI piece that I used. Unfortunately, it's too small, and so the, in a bolt circle diameter is right where the OD of the flange originally was. So you can see I modified it. This is a spare right here. Pilot diameter, bolt circle, all of that is correct for the machine now. So that's what I started with. I, I made two. This is a spare. I don't like sending a guy out with stuff that is a one-off if I can avoid it. So there's a spare. This part of the drive shaft was successful. It was never broken. Um, but where the flange adapted was not compatible with an American CV. Even though it was 1310 CV, there's nothing that we have in Spicer that's close to the GKN stuff that they had, and it was longer than this 1350 one. So I sized it up to 1350. This is a uh, this is actually a pinion flange off of a Ford 8.8 .8 rear axle. That's common. It is modified. I did spot face a little bit on the back. Uh, but um, that's a common part. I rearranged the pilot a little bit. It's still a two-inch pilot, but it's going to be a tubular. It's going to be a little insert instead because I had to make room to. This nut is larger than the stock Ford nut. I had recently done a job, and it involved an 8.8 .8 rear end in this flange, and I was aware of what the size was. And when I measured this thing, I was like, "Oh my God! I think it's the same." It went right on. So we got lucky there, you know, better than making it all from scratch. But, um, so this CV head is a Ford F250, F350, 1350 series CV head from Ford trucks, you know, all of the 2000s to 2020, probably still used.